Hey everybody, this is Kyle. Do you like your coffee? Like you like your metal? A little bit of cream? I mean, wait, I messed that joke up. So here is a clip from live stream with Matthew, Eve, and Jennifer. And we are checking out the black metal band Emperor. Now, unfortunately, because of copyright stuff, I had to cut out the song. So if you're interested, just go to your search box, type in the name of the band and the title of the song. I'll have that in the title of this video if you're curious. But this is a comments only reaction. I guess it's a, yeah, it's still a reaction, even though you don't, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. Why don't you take us on our right. next journey? What's coming up next? <laughs> Introduce us. Well, I, I mean, as you can see, I'm wearing an Emperor shirt, and I've w worn it quite a bit. I've I've been a pretty big fan since about um, 2008, 2009. I I went through a period back then that uh, around the time my mom died, that the black metal helped me. Um, it helped me heal a lot. This I I I don't know. It, it was. This band was definitely um, important in the healing process. Uh, I, when I felt like I lost, uh, you know, my sense of everything, like power and just yeah, just everything. This 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 empowered me. This this band and empowered me so much. Uh, but yeah, I that other than that, other than the personal sort of thing. Uh, they are one of the uh, best-selling black metal bands of all time. I think they're number one, maybe, maybe even cool. number two. I can't, I can't remember. But uh, mm -hmm. and Isan, we've reacted to it before, uh, mm -hmm. of course. His I, solo I work like Isan except for the blocking. Um, but that's not Isan's fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, he's he's fairly popular. Uh, I would. You know, like the difference between um, metal and uh, metal here versus metal in uh, other countries is it's yeah, it's just more popular. So yeah, I, I mean, I'm not surprised. Um, but okay. yeah, yeah, I. This is I've been kind of sneaking in heavier and heavier stuff uh, since. Uh, uh, since I yeah I what what did I play first I can't even remember <laughs> but um, yeah I I figured I'd throw some of my, like my heavier uh, stuff at you guys. All right, everyone, mash that like button here for me. Mash that like button here for me. If you're not subscribed to Evelyn, if you're not subscribed to Kyle, or if you're not subscribed to Jennifer, there are links in the description, so make sure you subscribe to them. And, of course, subscribe to Matthew's Music Lesson Studio as well. We are almost to 24,000 subscribers. That's right. I'm pushing to 25K by the end of the month. So, everyone, please um, go ahead and mash that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And so, without further ado, Musicians Panel reacts to Emperor, The Loss and Curse of Reverence, live in Vakken 2006, HQ 480p. Here we go! Hmm. Okay, well, um, on an inside note, <laughs> that is just exactly how I emotionally feel right this second. Me too. <laughs> no, I mean, no, seriously, like that, you, Eve just nailed it. Like, and, and, I, and, 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 and I cannot explain without ruining the entire show. So that's just, that's, you, you nailed it. I cannot. I cannot thank you enough for capturing the exact essence of my emotional turmoil in this exact moment. It is just absolutely, it was perfect. That, that was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. th that made me regret not figuring out a way to go see Slayer back in like 88, 89, <laughs> you know, something like that. Um, uh, remind me of the first time I saw like a, a grindcore band and it was in a, a little place where I went to college and 
I don't know. I, you know me, whenever I hear stuff, I start getting these memories. And to me, that's, that's, uh, you know, how I respect it and and like it. I I was trying to think if I've ever heard Emperor before. Um, I'm sure I probably heard them on the satellite liquid metal station or sometime, you know, when I get in that metal phase, you know, you just kind of, you know, dive deep sometimes. Um, but I'm not totally sure. Um, I, I like the, delicate sense because a lot of times black metal you know the atmospheric quality of it but there's always that kind of for lack of a better description viking like norwegian scandinavian swedish kind of melody and uh, that da, 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 you know that like almost classical music ornamentation that apparently goes back, you know, hundreds, if not like, you know, a thousand or more years to different chants and things. And despite the just barrage of noise, the blast beat, the atmospheric just assault, you had that delicate melody hanging out in, in there a lot of times. That was really cool, you know, because yeah. I was thinking as a guitar player, when you're doing this and you're still able to get that, you know, delicate melody to come out. So I was thinking of that and I was thinking how much I would love to have that bass player's hair whenever I was like 18, you know, skateboarding and, <laughs> know. you know, playing guitar, just kind of being someone going, I don't know if I want to go to college. And, you know, it's like that hair would have made life so much better. Those so. diminished arpeggios were pretty cool. It's, yeah. I just, I mean, we've talked about this before. Anything that has that, blast beat as you guys call it i just have a hard time taking it seriously like for some reason it just feels comical to me like i don't know why i it's just not my taste um and you know the the screaming vocals as we've talked about before are definitely not my taste um that being said i i thought that you know it was cool how they mixed in the breakdowns and you know some of the more mellow sections with it um and it was just like I said, for, for my mood in that moment, the exact way I was feeling, because, you know, it just was just, it just was just exactly it. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, like not my taste, but I, I loved the, the melodic structure they had in it. And also like something happened this morning that made me frustrated with life. And I was just like, ah, so that kind of, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm I'm a little I, bit frustrated I, with technology. I was, yeah, I know. <laughs> it, Go ahead, Eve. I I was gonna say, like, I mean, yeah, it's aggressive music, but I I I listen I listen to this band, I think like like I said it when I introduced it, when I when I need to feel empowered. I that but that's just me. I maybe it's the way that I'm uh interpreting the message in the song and the, even the like i guess uplifting nature of the chords that they're using i and the combination of all the different um there was so many diminished chords in there so many like you know you can see that when the, when the guitarists have their fingers in succession like one two three like <laughs> that i mean that's a diminished chord with an octave on top you know uh, a flat five i mean there was there was a few a there few. was a few Just chords a few. in there that were uh <laughs> I no yeah like it's a, they their music is pretty com it's it's uh, deceivingly complex. I mean I've tried to learn a I'm few not, emperor I'm not saying songs. It was easy. I'm saying like okay but, uh, okay like diminished chords are a really cool thing because especially when you use the diminished seventh right like it's an equidistant chord. What that means is is that any note in the chord can be the root. And so you can like just flop the four notes around and it's the same chord, but it sounds different. So you can take and you move your diminished five up, you know, six frets and it's the same thing, but it's reversed. Do you feel me? And so if you move it up three frets, you're, you're, you're switching to your third and seventh of your diminished seventh chord. And so even though you might only be playing two of those notes maybe at a time, if you're sliding up and down like that, you know what I mean? You're still moving in tritones and it's giving that really dark feel. And that was just, I'm just t literally talking about the introduction part, like the first part when they were, started right off with the blast beat and I was just, I could hear massive, massive tritones. Oh. And it's cool. Oh, yeah. Like no, it. it's, uh, it's uh, C minor and F sharp actually so well, is it? I, see right like there c and f sharp 
Uh-huh. That's a tritone. 